What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're taking a look at the demo for a very, very pretty adventure game. Kind of a brawler, adventure, top-down, whatever, called Metaverse Keeper. A little bit of roguelike in there, too. Welcome to the Metaverse Keeper demo version. In this version, there are initial weapons, chips, and items for you to make up some interesting ways to play. If you've got better ideas, please contact us. Alright. Let's start the game off and kind of like see what's going on with it. It's one of those games that looked really, really pretty when I looked at it, so I kind of wanted to play it. Alright, so we've got like a hammer right now. We can move around. Alright, and wants me to go to these different positions. Well, little did they know I'm pretty good at changing positions. Let's go over to this side and basic attack and weaponry will allow us to... So we've got a weapon skill too. Alright, what does our weapon skill do? Oh, we've got like a little spinny attack. Hell yeah, dude, we can whirlwind this out. Sounds good. What does that do? Hold on, what does this do right here? We've got a passionate fireball. Oh. So, the, I don't know what the fireball is passionate about. I'm passionate about a lot of things, so who's to say that a fireball can't have passions either? Place a bomb near the crystals to destroy them. Okay, so bombs go like that right there. Let's blow that thing up. And we got a couple more bombs just to reward us for our efforts. I do like explosives. Explosives are fun. Just gotta watch out. You wanna make sure that you don't like blow any fingers off or anything. So we can open up the map somehow. There we go. So we can teleport to the... Oh, okay, makes sense. All right, makes sense. You've entered the boss room. Step into the boss teleporter to fight the boss. All right, let's do it. It's boss time. Ow! Don't be like that. This man's got, like, abilities and stuff. Ow! Stop it! I'm gonna hit you with fireballs. Fireball! I got no mana left. Nope. Nope. Go for the kill! He's down! Was that like a little fluffy thing inside of a glass jar controlling a giant mechanism? Damn. All right, well, it's teleporting me to my space base now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, this guy's got a guitar. What's up? So we can switch heroes. We've also got this lady over here, Zoe. So it looks like she's a bomber. If one bomb can't settle it, use another. What do you do? I'm on fire and I'm fading. Okay, what do you do? Howard, I've pushed the history one little step forward. We've also got common upgrades and hero upgrades. So with our common upgrades, we have no tapes right now, unfortunately. So without old storage mediums, we're not going to be able to do much. Okay. Is this like a shop over here? It's got to be a shop for later where you can like kit out before you go into the dungeon. I'm definitely getting kind of like an enter the gungeon type feeling from the game so far. I am playing with a controller, by the way. Don't use the keyboard controls for this game. That's a mistake. Don't do that. Just play with a mount. Just, just to... Just play with a controller, okay? Just play with a controller. I promise it'll be more satisfying. Let's start the game, I guess? We'll play with this character first. We'll swap it out. I mean, it's a demo, so I'm sure it's not going to let us get that far into the game. And so what we'll do is we'll diversify a little bit and try out different creatures and different heroes and stuff along the way. You better stop that right now. I'm not trying to play with you, my guy. Ow, man. I'm taking a whooping right now. So he's going to jump to there. How much HP does he have? More than I feel like dealing with. Gotcha. I'm getting a little trapped right now. I need, like, some damage to go out, like, right this second. I'm gonna dodge roll back over this. We got some copper coins right there. I'll take those. Let me get some copper coins real fast. Nope. I believe that I'm, like, melting or something. I don't know what's happening to my health. Pocket from the year. Drop the most random used item. Okay. What does this do? It's gonna blow up, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna say, I got a feeling from like the undulating and throbbing of the device after I smacked it that something bad was gonna happen. That's a teleporter right there. We, we didn't even make it through the first room without getting whooped. This is not looking good for me right now. I'm not feeling confident. Yeah, I would like to not be near whatever's happening over here. Yeah, you guys like do me a favor and die real quick. I don't know what your attack animation looks like, but I'm definitely not going to let you finish it. And then this dude right here, maybe we got to smack these. What is that? We've got... Oh, it's energy. Okay, so that gave us a little bit of energy right there so that we can use our special ability. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got, like, mana. We've got, like, some kind of... Maybe those are... Yeah, those are just energy, I think. What is that right there? An electric whip. It allows us to summon thunder. Yeah, take that. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I like that better than what I have going on, but I do need health, so I'm going to blow this crystal up right here. 
10 health. All right, I'll take it. There's bombs and there's money inside these dudes right here. Let me see if I can get all of them from there. Yeah. Perfect. What did that do? Did I open a portal? We've got the poison. Poison. Tentacle. Shoot three venom spikes forward, causing poison effects for three seconds, or shoot a powerful laser. Well, I'm going to go for the laser, man. I have to. I don't have a choice. So apparently the laser is that thing right there. I'm a firing my lasers. Get the energy and let's keep on trucking. So this is chips. Oh, it's a vendor. All right, so what does this do? So we get nesting bombs, we get poison master, and we get Paris, which gives us max 10 HP, and then we release poison mist whenever we take damage. All right. Yeah, we'll teleport back down this way just to save some time. I definitely like the free-flowing nature of the game, how it feels like rapid. Like, the combat feels like it has weight, and it feels like it has a point. Well, if you guys are going to shoot at me, I'm just not going to accept that. I got range now, though. And with range, that... Oh, he has range, too. Oh, my God. We got swiped. That's not good. Oh, he released a bunch of baby spooters. No. Anything that introduces more spiders to my general area is not accepted by me. The chief cook, even the bully, is scared of it the moment that he sees it. That's a plus one, too. But so is our electric whip. So that just gives us, like, a little cleave. I'm going to take the electric whip. I think I like that idea a little bit better. What's in here? We got some energy caskets. Can blow that open and get some kind of bomb. I think I'm going to do that. So a tiny incendiary bomb. Throw a bomb and create a damaging and slowing area. Okay. Kind of feel like that might be slightly useful. I'm not enamored with it. Like, what is that? Like a landmine? I wanted to step on it real fast and see if it did anything. Just for future reference, so that it doesn't come up like in a room where we're fighting a bunch of enemies or whatever. What does this do? Start the challenge. You will face much more powerful enemies. Defeat them to win a treasure chest. I don't know if I'm that good at the game yet. That might be a mistake. We'll take the energy and the HPs over here, though. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. So that gave us 50 health. We might be able to take the monsters. Let's do it. Let's try the challenge. Let's not be a punk. So monsters are officially coming. Yeah, let's just go sort you guys out right now. Oh my god. No! Oh, that's all kinds of bad. I don't feel good about that at all. Okay, so these dudes are a priority now. We gotta, like, sort these dudes out, like, right this second. Dude, that's really hard to dodge. That's, like, super hard to dodge. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try out a different character. I'm going to swap to this guy because he looks badass. What kind of weapon does he start with, I wonder? Did he smack him with a guitar? I bet he smacks him with a guitar. Oh, he's got like an energy fist thing. He's got like little key blasts. Hell yeah. And I've got like a drone or something. Yeah, do that. That sounds all right to me. Yeah, he's got like a little drone that's firing lasers at my enemies. I'm feeling it. I like that idea. Kill that dude off. Oh, I almost got zapped right there. almost got zapped. I don't think I can fire through that wall. Oh, keep trucking, keep trucking, keep trucking. It looks like it does about as much damage as everybody else's attack, so no harm, no foul. We've got the cans knocker. Knock back and deal 20 damage to all nearby enemies. Okay. What's down this way? Is this another one of these challenge room things? Oh, it's a treasure chest. What does that have? Ice Age? Free status will last for one more second. Okay, so I, I don't know if that's like a permanent upgrade that we have from now on on like all of our runs, or if that's only for this run. What does this do? Use three energy to charge a chip vendor. Okay. I don't really like have any energy right now. I've got a little bit, but none that I'm really willing to sacrifice or like break up with. Yeah, let's start this off proper. There are a lot of projectiles. I'm going to hit you because I don't like you. Also got this little mortar strike dude over here. I think it's probably a good idea that we eliminate him. 
I gotta get some of these projectiles out of the air. With me having to stop every time I attack, that kind of puts us in a, a bad position. I do want this guy to die too. Luckily there's no damage on touch, so that's a plus. So he's gone. We don't have to worry about that big old AoE anymore. Got rid of him. So I think what happens is every time I hit something, I get a little counter above my head, and it looks like my damage goes up each time. So, like, I'm getting stronger every time I'm connecting or something. Or maybe it just allows my little dude to fire lasers and buffs his damage or something. I don't know. Give me the Energon Crystals. Definitely want those. Uh, I was trying to get out of the way of that, but I stepped on a spider web, and it made me get stuck. Oof, this is not going well. Alright, light him up, light him up. Oh no, my damage is going up. So it's like at a certain point, you start to get rolling damage that makes you stronger. I think that's going to be really good for boss fights when we go to line up combos and things like that. That hurts me, so I can't like step on that until it goes away. That's my ability right there, which I was interested in checking out. We've got a cleaver on this side. It's a plus one. We lose our auto attack module plus one. So this does more damage, but I actually kind of like the fact that I have a ranged attack over here. It makes me feel a little bit more confident about our survival chances. We use that as an opportunity to maybe get a little damage off on him. I'm going to try and eliminate the ranged guys first. We've got seven stacks right now. I would love not to lose it. That would be great. It sort of encourages like a really aggressive playstyle when you play as this dude too. I'm gonna go do that real fast. Cause that'll allow me to basically ace those dudes a little bit quicker. Got some HP right there. I don't know what that does. It looks like it's a shield heart maybe like from Binding of Isaac. Like one of the ghost hearts or whatever. It's kind of what I'm thinking it is. I'm gonna grab a little bit more energy. That actually served us really, really well. I'll come back here if I need any of this stuff. Let's go check the chip generator up here though. What do we have? So start a challenge to face some enemies. Uh, it didn't go well last time. It really sincerely didn't, but I'm kind of a junkie for punishment, so I'm going to give it a... I kind of felt like I was going to get out of the way of that on time. So I think my shields are like officially... I think I was nowhere near that one. I kind of feel like I didn't get hit by that. Oh my god, what just came out of the ground? Dude, this is a hard game. This is no lie. This game is not playing around with you. This game will dunk on you. Oh, I started with a different weapon this time. I guess I start with a different weapon each time? I thought each person had, like, their own, you know, standard equipment or whatever. Okay, so that fires a little bit faster. I don't know if I've got, like, a regeneration thing above my head, but it puts poison on them, which is... Fantastic. I like this weapon. Okay, this weapon's pretty dope. It looks like maybe I regenerate health or something, as because I get a little tick above my head. So I'm thinking maybe this is like a regen gun or something. I think I stepped in my own poison, though, too. I am not touching those casks anymore. Like, those chests right there can go be by themselves. Every time I touch one of those, something bad happens to me. But I'm really loving the presentation of this game right now. The controls feel good. Like, they give you a clear indicator of, like, where attacks hitboxes are so that you can get out of the way. I'm liking the early adoption of status effects and how they don't, like, hide that stuff from you and you don't need to get further into a run. Like, I, I like the random weapons every single time you start the game that you've got to kind of work around. I think that they've got a solid contender right here in the whole Enter the Gungeon Binding of Isaac uh, genre. And this is only the demo, and it's already feeling very, very good. I wanted to see if I regenerate. I do. It's a regeneration gun. Oh my god, what a clutch piece of hardware. I'm okay with this. And it puts a poison on him too. I'm going to cross over this way and we'll just let him bleed the hell out. Perfect. I uh, probably should have shot that sooner so that I could have used it in combat, but you know. Is that a Sodi back there? I would like to... Uh-oh. Well, it's not blowing up yet, so... I thought it was going to blow because it started flashing. Come over to here, maybe get a little bit of distance in between me and all the things that want to do me harm. I've poisoned myself with my own poison, which is obviously the balance mechanism for this weapon. 
is that you can heal yourself, but also you leave little poison clouds all over the place. We got a black hole generator. Sounds good. I could do that. What does this do over here? Let's go ahead and bomb that open real fast. So we got some money, and we've got a lava path for 20 seconds. That sounds like something that's going to hurt me as well as my enemies, though. And I'm not good at, like, avoiding my own ass whoopings, so maybe not. So on the chip vendor, we only have five of those little things. We got Guardian Strength, repeatedly summon an energy orb that periodically deals okay contact and damage to enemies. So it's going to be like a little spinny globe that zaps everything that gets around us. Our own little, like, hover taser. Dude, I think I just thought of a new invention. Somebody get out here and invent a hover taser. Like, they've already invented a drone that follows you around based on the signature of your phone. How hard would it be to create one of those, and then you sync it up with your strike team, right? You've got, like, your own little paramilitary force. You sync it up with all of their little RFID devices as well. And then any other RFID device or any other entity that it detects, it just goes and starts, like, tasering the hell out of them. See, I'm an inventor out here, man. I'm trying to move us into the future and away from all this analog hardware we've got going on. I'm trying to turn us into a cyberpunk universe. And the military-industrial establishment is just trying to avoid it. See, we never invent, like, cool devices. We always invent devices that are, like, functional and pragmatic. Forget that. Forget that. I'm all about weird stuff that we can sell to the military. I feel like we're doing pretty good on our finances right now. We've whipped, like, $35 out of all these creatures. I shot his eyeball out. We've got blast plus three. Oh, it throws a bomb every third hit, and we get a shield from it. So our ability is that we get, like, a little shield thing. Okay. I don't know what I like better, but I, I think it behooves us to try out new items while we play the game instead of just sticking with, like, the standard fare stuff that we've already had. I've got $35 right now. Not really enough to get any of these other things. I could probably fight him, like, Spelunky style if I just wanted to steal his inventory, but... I've taken so many L's so far that I'm a little bit paranoid about taking more L's. Oh my god, it hits so hard. Does my own bomb blast hurt me? Yeah, throw that out there. Perfect. The bomb looks like it does pretty considerable damage too. We've got a poison module right there. Yeah, I'll take that. As long as it still blows up crystals, I don't really care. I wonder if there's secret rooms and stuff, Binding of Isaac style. What do we have here? Increase the bomb's damage radius. Nice. I'll take that. That sounds really, really good. I don't see anything up there. Where have we been so far? Yeah, teleport me over to here. Oh, I can destroy those too. Okay. Okay. Where's the boss room at? I'm trying to go the distance right now. Splat's going the distance. Splat's going for speed. He's all alone. He's all alone. And he bought some weed. wonder if I can use the bombs that come out of my weapon to break crystals if I, like, time it properly. Does it give me, like, an infinite supply of crystals? I think this is something worth investigating. Yeah, I remember you guys. I absolutely remember you dudes. Yeah, throw that out right there, and then the bomb will hopefully get all of them. I was hoping I could one-shot that little spiderling right there. That would have made this weapon a little bit more attractive to me. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky like that. Those two are down. Stay away from his auto attack. I want to see if this blows up crystals. Oh, I got poison. My bad. I bet that it won't just as a balance measure. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's a bummer, but I can live with it. We got health and stuff over here. I'm not going to step in my own poison, though. You got to give me a minute. There we go. Grab a little bit more health. I do miss my healing gun. Like, the healing gun seems like it would be really, really good in the long term, but I think we found something right now that's working pretty good for us. The additive AoE that we're getting, what is that? Gray plus one. There's a fine line between pleasure and pain. Looks like it does an AoE and gives me an auto attack, maybe? I actually haven't used the shield on this at all, either. It looks like it's going to require some timing in order to make it work the way that I want it to work, but... 
I was gonna say my dodge is on cooldown right now. So I'm not like hugely in the market to be taking risks. God, I keep poisoning myself with my own poison. Stop that. Yeah, I'm thinking the poison bomb add-on is kind of a liability. Because the enemy's bodies, they stop the bomb, which means that a lot of the time you're dropping poison right at your own feet. And it's like crazy easy to step on and hurt yourself. But this is the furthest that we've made it so far. So like I'm feeling confident about our build right now. We'll put a bomb out right there. Yeah, I don't want to eat that. I think I'm going to avoid that ass whooping. Maybe it wasn't poison from our own bomb. Maybe it was poison from the spiders. I think they might drop a little poison aura whenever they go down. Oh, I can get health from there? What? Apparently, I should be chopping up all these vines and bushes. I didn't even consider that it might be straight Zelda style. And I might be picking up some new goodies. Uh, where have I not been? Oh, the boss fight's over there? Okay, let's go for the boss fight then. I'll go ahead and transition up this way, and we'll see if we can get ourselves through the first level for the first time here in Metaverse Keeper. I like it, though. Uh, this game is translated from Chinese on the menus, but, like, I'm excited to see, like, where this game is going. You know, like, we get a lot of games out here that are, like, barely translated or whatever else, but this one seems to be doing an okay job already. Alright, so he puts out, like, little zappies and whatnot. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, I appear to be stuck in a corner. Oh, it reversed all my controls. Okay, that makes sense. I'm okay with that. My controls are reversed for right now. So I'm gonna have to, like, sort of dubiously get my way through this until the controls are better. Alright, my controls are fixed. What's he trying to do right now? I'm gonna jump away real fast because I don't want to be confused again. Damn it! I'm confused again. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Well, this game's called Metaverse Keeper. I hope you guys liked it. This is an early demo of the game, and frankly, the demo feels better put together than a lot of the full games that I get sent on a daily basis. So keep an eye on this one. I'll give you a link down below. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile every single day to find what's worthwhile in indie gaming so that you don't have to. Hi, everybody, and I'll see you next time.